Today I'm going to show you how to replace the wheel cylinder. I already got the shoes and stuff all off and I did a video on that. If it's not up it will be shortly. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to replace this wheel cylinder. First thing we need to do is remove that brake line right there you see in the center of the screen. And you see once that's loose that will come out of there. So we'll just leave that sitting there for the moment. I'm going to get these bolts off next. In my case they are 3 8 We'll go ahead and remove those. All right, once all the screws are removed, you should be able to just remove this. And if it's stuck, you might have to give it a tap or something, but there we go, slide that out. And I did remove, incidentally, I'll show you that. Normally there is a bleeder screw on there as well. I removed that bleeder screw because it was in the way to remove the brake line. So keep that in mind, I already had already removed that. So now what we're gonna do is just kind of clean this up a little bit here and we'll reinstall the new wheel cylinder. And I did put a bag over the end of my brake line there so no dirt would get in there. Then I kind of wire brushed this up and cleaned it up. Here's the new wheel cylinder. I'm gonna leave the caps on everything here so no dirt gets in there. And I've left the bag on the end of the line back here as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this in like this. It's gonna tip up into place. And then we'll just kind of get it to go in there like so. Once we get it in place, we're gonna take two original screws we had and put those in the back side where we took them out of the old wheel cylinder. All right, got one started. We're looking at the back side. Those are the two screws I just put back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the plastic bag from the end of the brake line. And we're gonna remove the plug that was in the new wheel cylinder. And immediately put this brake line right back in there. We don't get any dirt in anything. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the bolts that hold the wheel cylinder in place and then we got to tighten up the brake line onto the wheel cylinder and you can see why I removed that bleeder last time it's right in a bad spot there but I think we'll be all right to get this tightened up that should be good so everything's tight back here now and then we just have to reassemble the whole brake assembly on the front side and then we'll go around and bleed everything but that will be for another video but if you need to replace a wheel cylinder in your vehicle and this uh, hopefully this will help you out but there it is right there because they're different over the years and not every vehicle has brake shoes like this with a drum. Some of them are disc, but this is a brake shoe set up with a wheel cylinder like this here, which is pretty common years ago and you still see them somewhat today, but less and less. Hey, thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back often for more videos. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. If you want some basic information on maintaining your vehicle, check out my free ebook and checklist down in the description.